the opponents in that hole. Second and eight, Queens, ball on their own 47-yard line. Tie ball game, 30-30, just over two minutes left to play. McPhee takes the snap, looking left, throws. Pass caught by Carmichael. Great athletic play by Curtis Carmichael. Oh, the ball is loose! The ball is loose, and the GGs have recovered! What a swing in momentum there. It looked like Carmichael had done enough to get the first down, but then the balls popped loose. And the Ottawa GGs take over as we see the play here again late in this football game. Oh, no. That's just an unfortunate turn for the Gills there, Matt. Looks like he was just rolling over the tackler. And a heads-up play. I didn't even catch the number who got that ball, but that is a... The, the ball carrier is not down until his knees, torso, or elbow have hit the dirt. And that did not happen. And a heads-up play by the uh, GG's defense. And you know what? This is what we just talked about, Matthew. Ball security in the last three minutes with 30 points apiece on the board. This is tremendous. Great. Whatever adjective you want to use for field <laughs> position here. They are on the opponent's 46-yard line. Tunch. One first down, and they got themselves three points. Tunch Akaya, number four with the big heads-up play there Wow! by the Ottawa GGs. And yeah, very weird one. As you said, just sort of rolling over the tackle. I can't really think, remember many plays that I've seen like that before. No. But Akaya just big time heads up play to just grab that football. And, and the Ottawa GGs taking over on offense again. First and 10 from the Gales 47 yard line. And Akaya